In this video now, I would like to give you my SMART goal questionnaire that you can use in order to figure out whether you worked with SMART goals or any other kind of goals. So what we want to do, first of all, is we want to have a look at one of your goals and then we want to figure out whether this goal is a SMART goal or not. And then we want to amend that goal. So we want to change it towards a goal that is a SMART goal. So basically, that is specific, that is measurable, that is achievable, that is results focused, and that is time bound. So first of all, what you want to write down and you can download this file at any given time in the left top corner in the resource section. The first thing that you want to do is you want to write down right here what your goal is right now. So for instance, let's say you want to make $100,000 in 100 days. So that is your goal right now. So you want to make sure that you write down the goal right here. I want to make $100,000 in 100 days. That is the goal. And then we have the first question, which is about the term specific. What will the goal do? Which consequences will the goal have? Why should it be accomplished? How will you accomplish it? So we already talked about the what, why, and how. These are the three things that are extremely important about SMART goals and about the term specific because we want to make our goals as specific as possible. So for instance, what we could do is we can say right here, when we answer the question, what will the goal do? Well, it will make us $100,000. Which consequences will the goal have? For instance, we feel great, we have enough money to support our children, we have enough money to pay our employees, we have enough money to perhaps buy a nice car or something like that. And then why should it be accomplished? Well, because I want to deliver, for instance, um, something that perhaps is a little bit more top notch to my children that I want to give them. I want to pay for them for their college education. I want to, you know, do so many things. That's why I think this goal should be accomplished. And then how will you accomplish it? Well, by let's say making every single day a thousand dollars. That is kind of like the thinking that I'm having right now. This is what I want to do. So the what is a hundred thousand um, dollars. Then why should it be accomplished? Well, because what we think or I think um, my children should have an amazing time. I want them to go to college. And how will you accomplish it? Well, by making a thousand dollars per day, by selling, let's say, a hundred courses per day that have a profit margin of ten dollars. Then, of course, the next one, measurable. How can you measure whether you achieved the goal or not achieved the goal? So this is now quite important because when we go with the book definition, this is only about time. And I think rather we should not go about time. We should focus on the actual money that we made. So we want to measure it in terms of money and in terms of time. We say every single day we want to earn $1,000. So at the end of every single day, let's say when we go to bed, we write down how much money did we make on that day. So what we're doing here, and this is already perhaps a little bit early now for saying it, but this is really result focused. We are focusing on the results and we want to measure these results on a daily basis and in terms of money. So these are basically the two factors that we want to have a look at. Then achievable. Is it achievable? Have others done it too? Do you have the necessary knowledge, skills, abilities, and resources to accomplish a goal? Will meeting the goal be challenging? First of all, is it achievable based on the things that we know right now? So for instance, when we normally make, let's say, $700 per day, then of course, $1,000 doesn't seem to be so far away. But if we don't make any money at all every single day, and we say, but from tomorrow on, I'm going to make $1,000 per day, this is perhaps not achievable because it's unlikely because, well, we don't just have the right tools. So have others done it too? Well, for instance, with online courses making $1,000 per day, a lot of people have done it. So yeah, sure, people have done it too. Then do you have the necessary knowledge, skills, abilities, and resources to accomplish the goal? Knowledge, in my case, of course, yes. Skills, hopefully. Abilities, well, kind of, and resources to accomplish the goal, of course, I have my studio right here, it will definitely work. So then will meeting the goal be challenging? Yes, of course, it is always challenging to make, let's say $1,000 per day. Do I make every single day $1,000? No, I make an average between, let's say, well, sometimes, sometimes more than 2000, even in most cases, between, let's say, 700 and $900. But I have also month where I make, let's say, like two or $3,000 per day. But anyway, so is it challenging to go to $1,000 on average per day? Yes, it is a little bit of a challenge. So 
um, I'm thinking now in the in the long term. So really over three and a half months, so 100 days making $1,000 every single day, that is quite challenging. So then number four, results focused. What is the result of the goal? What is the reason, purpose and benefit of accomplishing the goal? Did you focus on your activities or outcome? Now, let's start with the first question. What is the result of the goal? So for instance, the result of the goal will in this case, of course, be $100,000. That is the result of the goal. So basically, the goal is $100,000. The result is also I have $100,000 in my bank. So, of course, this is also connected to the why. So, um, what is the result? I can pay for my kids' college education. I can pay for this. I can pay for that. So, in the end, this is also, of course, the result. Then, what is the reason, purpose, or benefit of accomplishing the goal? So, for instance, the reason would be to pay for my kids' uh, purpose, same thing. Benefit, of course, same thing. Um, of accomplishing the goal, all basically the same um, in my case, but of course, sometimes you also can differentiate between some of them. And then, did you focus on your activities or outcome? Well, most of the time, of course, I focus on the outcome, but I know every outcome is connected to activities. If you only focus on the outcome, but never on the activities, well, then how are you going to generate the outcome? So, you always want to make sure that, of course, you're you're, let's say, not neglecting the activities, but you're focusing most of the time on the outcome with your activities. So then number five, time bound. What is the deadline and does that deadline create a practical sense of urgency? So first of all, the deadline is of course in 100 days. We said that, that is the time bound. So we say, all right, the goal is time bound. It has to be achieved in 100 days. So every day, $1,000. And then does the deadline create a practical sense of urgency? Yes, it does, because it is not easy for me to do. It is okay for me to do. It is possible for me to do, but it's not easy. That's why it's creating a sense of urgency. I always want to feel that sense of urgency in not necessarily every aspect of my life, but especially job related. I, only, I always want to focus on how to make my company better, how to make more money, how to do the things that I want to do, um, but at the same time succeed at them. So the deadline is again 100 days, um, in 100 days basically. And the practical sense of urgency is, of course, there because it is not easy for me to achieve it. So then when you did all of these things, so basically when you looked at the goal that you had up here and then you basically question yourself, all right, is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it uh, achievable? Is it results focused? Is it time bound? Then in the end, did you came to the conclusion that anything about the goal should be changed? For instance, if you go into this question sheet and this questionnaire with the goal, I want to be buff, then of course you want to make sure that you change a couple of things about that because it's just a terrible goal. It is not a smart goal. So what you want to do is you want to look at the goal and then you want to apply all of these steps to the goal and then you want to write down right here, how did your goal change? So what is now different about that goal. Write that down down here and then you want to take all of these aspects and you want to then create a new goal, a new, let's say, amended goal. So what you basically do then is you're defining what your goal is right now. And then you're done with this questionnaire. So again, you can download this questionnaire at any given time in the left top corner in the resource section of this video. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It's definitely helpful. So I can just recommend you to print it out, to put it in front of you, write, write it down. You can download it multiple times. So if you do some mistakes, no problem. And if there's anything, of course, that you would like to know, don't hesitate. You can message me at any given time. All right. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.